To continue my observations about overlooked facts of life, while most parents seek to discipline their children, it is in fact children who discipline their mothers by demanding attention 24 hours a day. Any mother will testify that conscientious and painstaking motherhood can be a tiring and gut twisting experience. At times the child as it grows will infuriate and disappoint its mother, perhaps reducing her to tears of frustration and despair. At others it will delight her and be a joy to behold. There is an agony and an ecstasy to child rearing. One can talk of the martyrdom of motherhood. Accepting that martyrdom and surviving it to produce healthy offspring is an ultimate reward. The sense of fulfilment of mature mothers makes them the most lovable, respected and valuable members of the community. It is only then that they can experience true freedom and the world becomes their oyster. However, most hope for more mundane, grand parental responsibilities later. Fathers tend to be peripheral characters to their children for the first few years. In a child's mind, they are little more than another cuddly toy. It is only when children become aware of metaphysical fear and afraid of the dark at the age of three or four that fathers can really come into their own. It is then that in a child's mind they become an additional source of information, security and well-being. From the dawn of civilization until the Cultural Revolution, the genders were seen as complementary rather than equal. They worked together as a team, with each having a separate and important role to play in the raising of children. Traditionally, men took responsibility for security and finding food, leaving women free to put their minds to domestic management and nurturing the young. The facts of family life were universally accepted. Earning a living and providing food and shelter sometimes keep fathers remote from their families. They were and continue to be preoccupied by the drudgery of occupational routine. The same journey to work, the same repetitive tasks, the same faces to work with, the same journey home, day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out. In the old days, wives looked after their husbands just as they looked after the children. They prepared breakfast for him before he went out, sometimes sandwiches for lunch, and a meal for him when he got home. Recognising that he needed proper rest in order to do his job, they never dreamt of asking him to wash dishes, change nappies, or attend a crying child in the dead of night. Good wives also recognised that a man's friends were as important to him as his family. Men can provide for their families more successfully if they work together as a team. This demands that men are free to associate with each other, exchange ideas and experiences, and swap tricks of the trade. Once upon a time, men-only clubs were hallowed institutions. There, men could let their hair down and say what they liked without fear of censure. The Cultural Revolution put an end to such freedom. <laughs>